as, as so the whole uh, ICAP began with an idea, a seed of an idea which was uh, introduced to Delhi College by Mr. Chris Hunter, the, the head of uh, a, a, a sister round square school called the Amitage International School based in Misa Lafitte uh, near Paris. And uh, he had come over to Indore during the 2007 conference and the two principals sat down and they, find, they, they wanted to find out whether there's any possibility of setting up an ICAP. And uh, earlier, Chris Hunter had some experience uh, of setting up and running ICAMs with secondary school students, both uh, in, in, in parts of Africa and in, uh, in Mumbai, India. So we were trying to explore the possibility. So principal saying, uh, uh, handed over a, a kind of a folio to me and said that, can you do something about it? Just maybe do stop. Um, and then, you want to start again? No, not the last part. No, okay. So, and then what happened was uh, that uh, I explored the possibilities, spoke to the local doctor, the local optometrist, and after a lot of um, work and uh, initial understanding of what a project is, it's also uh, carrying this whole fear of how can uh, secondary school students take up a project as uh, complicated as this. So we started up, uh, we set up a first ICAM in uh, 2008, to be precise in the February of 2008. And uh, it, it had its own uh, drawbacks, we didn't have uh, proper facilities, we didn't know what to expect. And the biggest shock of it was having a, uh, a crowd of uh, thousands of people who wanted to have uh, a free pair of glasses. So we weren't uh, ready for it. So in spite of all that, with a lot of support from the Daily College support staff, with, with a lot of uh, um, on-hands understanding and you know, response to a crisis of sorts, there are huge crowds coming in. We started uh, this whole uh, journey of having an eye camp. It was a fantastic uh, a success for the first time, but we learned. And uh, much to the disappointment and uh, uh, of my uh, administrators, I had uh, I had projected uh, expenses way below what actually was there. So this was something that was the first project, something that we learned. And this was a, this was a very uh, expensive project, but it had a lot of other factors which we learned, and we had to quickly learn. And this was so where do you get your finances from? Um, in, we we always believed that uh, the children uh, should be involved. Students of Delhi College must be involved in. Uh, uh, in, in every uh, stage of it. And one of the things that we had was setting up uh, food fits. We had food fits, that is when 2006, 7, 8, we had a lot of food fits. So food fit uh, gave us a lot of funds, followed by setting up of uh, um, greeting card centers where students, uh, especially the girls of, uh, of the, girl, uh, the girls of the girls' houses, Bharati house, had their uh, cards, uh, they the made their cards, handmade cards and they sold them and we sold them at a very good profit and then later on we also uh, came up with this idea of having a, a bake sale or a cake bake sale as we call it here in BC. So these are the sources by which we we'll get our funds and uh, not to forget that this project is co-funded by uh, Delhi College, Amitad School, Amitad Inter International School and also over the years after the first two years this after the success of the project this also started uh, uh, supported by the Friends of Round Square India or FRS India and they gave us about, they are still uh, committing about 20% of the overall project cost. So this is a commitment that they have given us every year. So what were the projected costs in the first year and what are the projected uh, costs you'd now? Be, uh, uh, in fact the projected cost was uh, something like 1.5 lakhs and the, in, the first year. in the first year which was absolutely, it was, it was out of uh, sheer ignorance. We didn't know the kind of response we'd get. So it went on to, uh, after that it went on to 4 lakhs and now it is around 5 lakh rupees. Can we cut it now? It's, it's again, uh, the burden of it is shared by our sister school, Gamitash, and a part of it is also supported by uh, the Friends of Ramsquare. Alright. And